Hello, welcome to Selects Nation. We have something really fun to start off with. We have a new intro to AO Scan video. Let's check it out. Everything has a frequency. The body's cells can create and receive energy. This energy is information that functions through sending and receiving frequencies. When frequencies change from their optimal state, problems occur with our body's ability to maintain a healthy function. To bring your body back into balance, the vibration of your body must be tuned to the correct frequency. How can you know if your frequencies are balanced or not? AO Scan Technology compares your frequencies with their established blueprints, so you know if any imbalances are happening inside your body. From your DNA to hormones, food sensitivities, skin, blood, and even your pets, AO Scan has various programs that enable you to scan and see how your body's frequencies are performing. What's more, AO Scan emits supporting frequencies that disable the frequencies in chaos to help your body move toward a more balanced state. The future of wellness is here and now. Now, don't worry, we're not taking away any of the other Intro to AO Scan videos. You'll have access to all of them. We just wanted to add another uh, option for you. And you know what? This won't be the last one. We have more coming, so just stay tuned. But hopefully, you love that one and you can share it and uh, people can get to know what AO Scan is and Solex is. All right, it is April, and that means that we have Q2 incentives, our new quarter incentives. So let's start with April. In April, all enrollees are going to get a bottle of Think Drops. Now remember the fine print on this. Enrollees, the QLAs or PCs that sign up with a subscription and a bundle. That's what um, qualifies them to earn this incentive. So in April, it will be a bottle of Think Drops. In May, they will receive a bottle of gold. And then in June, they will receive a box of Cephi Dots. Now there's something in it for you too. Those incentives are to help you get new people on. It's to give them an incentive to want to join in that particular month. We're gonna help you too. When you bring on three people in this quarter, in quarter two, so April, May, June, you will receive a $50 bonus. Now that is with the same requirements. They have to enroll with a subscription and a bundle. If you bring on six people, so three more people, add three more people, you will receive an additional $250. So that is $300 total for bringing six people on. It's awesome, awesome incentive. All right, moving on. Coming up is our Mexican Riviera Cruise. The qualification period ends August 31st. So if you don't have a plan for how you're gonna earn that cruise, it is time to design your plan. We had a Golds and Higher Leadership training last Thursday, and we talked to your Golds and Higher leaders about how to design their own plan and then how to work with their team to help their team design a plan. So get with your leader if you need help and learn how to design your own plan so that you can join us on that Mexican Riviera trip. Now that trip will take place in the springtime of 2025. And I can tell you right now, those who went to Punta Cana will tell you that you don't wanna miss it. It's gonna be a great time. All right, something really fun that I love to talk about, license plates. We actually have two this week. The first one is Leslie Jane Rundquist. And this is an iCephi plate. I love that, iCephi. <laughs> the next one is Melinda Love with an AO scan plate. Love to see those license plates. Both of you will get a Solex silver coin and you are part of the Legacy Group. And we had a contest last week, we asked you, what do you think we should come up with next? There were so many amazing entries. Um, and then what we're going to give these three winners is a bottle of Think Drops. So we had a lot of entries. So let's get the first one. This is uh, Susanna Rice. I'd love to see a probiotic enzyme combo in Nano. And for my amazing son, autism support blend. We've been using herbal combos, so I'd love to take that to the next level. I'm loving Think With Krill with blue. Within a few minutes, I was focused on it. Wow, game changer for me. That is awesome, love to hear that. Okay, you're getting a bottle of Think Drops. All right, next one, got a couple. This is Julie Gibbons. 
I would love to see some collagen supportive products. Hugs to you all. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, last one is, this is Cindy Leslie. I think a weight loss nano spray would be fantastic. Pre and probiotics, as well as digestive enzymes, all in a nano spray would also be wonderful. The sprays are just so convenient. It makes my routine so easy. They sit on my bathroom sink and I just go down the line. I appreciate that you only release a new product if it's something that's better than products already out there. We can be confident in sharing these with others because it's true that they are the best you can buy. Thank you for all you do. Thank you, Cindy. All three of you will receive Think Drops. All right, last thing before we get onto the call is top and rollers. And this is for the week of March 25th through the 31st. In second place, we have a tie with Leslie Zwick and Ken Kennedy. Congratulations to both of you. And in first place is Simmons Holistics Inc. I think we're just gonna hang on to your coins and give them all to you when you get here in September <laughs> so we can have a car full for you to bring home. Congratulations to all of you and really well done. All right, we have great topics today. We are gonna talk about two of our newest additions to the scanner. We're gonna talk about multicast and then after that, some frequently asked questions about AOTune. Multicast is the new program, or the program now that's in Cephi, that allows you to broadcast frequencies or remedies. You're already doing that right now in Cephi with your homeopathics and with your playlists. Well, multicast is just like the name implies. We can do it to multiple people at the same time. We're broadcasting to multiple people. So let's go in and take a look at this page. Now, when you get to this page here, your Cephi page, there's some changes to this page. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, there's two new buttons, tuning forks, which we're gonna talk about later, and multicast, which is what we're talking about right now. Click on multicast. And now multicast brings up this new page. At the very top of the page, you have multicast and three buttons, which we'll get to in a second. Right below that is another box that has a button in there that says look up subject little magnifying glass. When you click on that, that'll take you to your subject directory in your scanner. And you click on just hit search and it will list all of your clients that you have, all their profiles, and select one of them. It doesn't matter for this, I'll just select myself. And you'll notice that loaded my picture and my name. Now, if you don't have their picture, it's okay. Just their name is fine. Whatever, I've just loaded that profile. Right below that one is another button or a box that has four buttons in it. It says select a flower and then below that a little button with a flower. A box that says enter here and then a select a playlist. Okay, so here's where it's important. Let's say that we're gonna to, uh, broadcast to multiple people. Now some of you are already doing that with your uh, Cephi groups when you're sending you know, abundance or health or prosperity or whatever to a group of people. This is the platform that's perfect for that. But every single individual maybe is gonna get all that, get the same information, the same affirmation or playlist that you're gonna send. But every one of those individuals has what I refer to as a wall around them. And that wall is an emotional wall. It's an emotional barrier. So we may all want the same thing. We may all want perfect health, or we may all want to lose some weight, or we may all want uh, some abundance. But that affirmation that you're sending to everybody is gonna hit each one of us. It's gonna hit our emotional wall before it actually gets into us. This is the part that we've added to multicast. It wasn't part of the big scanner we would just send the same information to everybody. But by going in and selecting the flower, we, we call it the flower, but what we're really trying to do is find what the underlying emotion is. And the flowers in the scanner are basically the key to that. And so when you click on that, and if I click on flower, it will then do a, a few second scan of me at this moment in time and come up with the flower and the emotion that seems to be my, my barrier, my wall. So when selecting the flower, you need to hit the little button right next to the flower that says scan. And when you click that, it will do a little three or four second scan and identify the emotion and the flower associated with that. 
And right here it says overwhelmed, and it tells me the, uh, and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that flower, but it shows a little picture of the flower there. That is the emotion that it needs to, this whatever the information we're gonna send, that's the emotion I've gotta get through. And the beauty of this is we've never been able to do that before. So you, you load in that emotional key. If you'll notice right next to the scan button, there's a little button that says I uh, look up and there's a little magnifying glass. If I click on that, for whatever reason I say, let's say I happen to know that individual and I don't think that that was the right frequency or the right emotion, I could go in and select a different one if I wanted to. My recommendation is don't do that unless it's someone that you personally know and know well. The scan really taps into the emotional underlying frequencies in an individual. But nonetheless, we wanted you to have the ability to change that if you wanted to. Right above, when, you, when you've clicked on that, then it opens up the box that says enter an affirmation here. In the affirmation here, you can type in whatever you want it to be. It can be something personal, uh, health or more patience or forgiveness or love or tolerance. You can type that in. Grammar is not important and neither is language. Whatever your native language is, type that in. Right above that, there's a box that says select playlist. Now in this scan right here, all I have is abundance and voice. Those are the playlists I've previously made in the scanner under Cephi. So you can select a playlist. So if you wanted to, you could go in and make a whole playlist on just abundance. Or you can make a whole playlist on just health or on anything that you want your group to be. You can load that in, that entire playlist, by just selecting the playlist you want. So in here, I'll select Abundance and hit OK. And now that's been loaded. It says One Playlist Linked. Now I go down, and now if you'll notice also, right below that box, it, it loaded in a, a another box with a play button and then the note, whatever the note be. In this case, it's Note G. That is the main carrier frequency that's carrying all of the other frequencies associated with the flower, with the affirmation, with the playlists. There needs to be a carrier. So you imagine Note G is like the freeway that all those cars are driving on. That's all that means, is that's the, the main carrier for all of the frequencies we've loaded. Now, right below that is now another person with a plus. And if you click on that, you can load up another person. So I go in, I hit look up subject, hit search in my subject box, and I grab somebody and I put that in. I immediately hit the flower, hit the scan button, and it loads that frequency. And I can do this up to 16 times. 16 different people I can load in. And every one of those emotions will probably be different that you're dealing with. You can type in a different affirmation for everyone. You can send the same playlist or a different playlist. Every one of those people, you've now been able to make this broadcast personal and, and uh, private to them, even though it's a whole group you're sending out to. Are you starting to see the magnitude of this program? Let's give you a practical example of this. You have a family, you've got three or four children. You could load your, your spouse and each one of your children, your dog, your cat, your horse, you could load them all into this into this multicast. You can set what every you know what each one of those individual needs that day. Load up this thing, and then send it. And they're all getting it at the same time. You don't have to wait and do another one and do another one. You're able to send it all at once. This is the power of multicast. But now let's say that you're maybe you're a practitioner and you have a whole lot of clients. Or you're a school teacher with a whole lot of students. You start to see where the multicast really starts to be powerful and in, in helping you. We had a, an administrator of a school uh, call us up about a week ago who's been using this. And they had one class in the school where there was a lot of behavioral issues. And they called and says, what, would we, what can we do? And I says... Take and load in just a class picture. Don't do an individual picture because now you're stepping on private rights and stuff, but just a class picture. Load that in and just put in calm and peace, tranquility, 
those types of things. She called back and she says, after a week of running this, our class is probably the best behaved class in the whole school. This is real, this is powerful, and it's something that can be used every single day. Now here's where this is really fun. Once you're all done, maybe it's five people, maybe it's up to 16, you can save that list. You don't have to go back and recreate it. You can go back and edit it. You can go back and say, well, they're not dealing with anymore. Let's, let's redo that uh, scan on the flower and see what emotion they're dealing with. And maybe we're gonna change the affirmation, but you don't have to rec recreate the whole thing. You can just go back and edit it. And you can save as many of those multicast groups as you want. And each group can have up to 16 individual uh, profiles in it. Okay, so now let's go up to the top of the screen. So over the top, you have the three more bo three boxes. Uh, and when you click on the one that says 30 seconds, it drops down. There's a 30 second, a two minute, and a five minute. I'll explain that in a second. The next one over looks like a little play button. You push that and it just plays all of those profiles in that group simultaneously, all at, all at once. The one right next to it looks like a little recycle wheel. And that's if you want to um, play one profile at a time and it will play it for whatever you set over here, three, 30 seconds, two minutes, or five minutes. It will do the first one for whatever that time is. And then it will go to the next one and do that one. It'll go to the next one and do that one. All right, so let me explain why you would maybe do that. Why wouldn't you just send it all at once? When I leave the house uh, in the mornings, I'll holler back to my, my wife and say, love you, I love you, and out the door I go. That's like a reminder. But if I sit down with my wife and I take her, hand, her face in my hands and I go nose to nose, eyeball to eyeball, and I say, I love you, that's a declaration. That's a statement. Both use the exact same three words, I love you. But because of the way they were used, the intention behind them, the way it was received is different. Doing a simultaneous broadcast is like a reminder. Doing a cycle through is like a statement. It all depends on the intention, the energy, and the focus behind what's being done, okay? So, a recommendation, if I was gonna do a playlist, I would start and do the uh, playlist as a cycle through the first time. And then after that, I'd hit simultaneous. I've made that individual statement to each individual one, and then I just send the reminders. Does that make sense? Now you can use it any way you want. You can just always use a simultaneous, or you can use a cycle through, but you have the option. Multicast is one of those that I absolutely love. Of course, I love all of the things in the scanner, but this is my newest toy. And I, I love this, and I think that you will too, as you start to play with this, to utilize it, to make it a part of your, your daily scan routines. We all have circles of people, friends, family, that could use a little boost every day. Just think what you can do about sending something good to somebody and allowing them to receive that and to benefit from it. We told you before in the multicast that you're gonna be able to put in multiple people. And that's, that's true. You can do up to 16 people. But we've taken and added to that. Now you can add as many different groups of 16 people as you want. And hence, we need to put in the groups. So let's go to Manage Client Groups, click on that button. If you don't have one set up, you just hit that little blue button where it says Group Manager. Now I've set three of them up here as you can see on my screen. I have one for family, one for health, and one for abundance. If I click on family, it shows me the people listed in that group. 
If I want to see who's in health or if I want to see who's in abundance, it shows me all of those. If I want to get rid of one of those groups, I just hit the red garbage can. If I want to add somebody to that, right at the bottom of that group will be a little symbol of a person with a plus sign. And so in an abundance, I'm going to add somebody else. I go into my search a client. Now it's easier to make sure that when you make these groups that your people you want to add to the groups are already in your client list. It just makes it a lot easier. If they're not, you do need to create them first in the client list, in your existing list. So I'm going to hit search and I'm going to grab one person. I'm going to add that to my abundance. That's how simple it is to make a group. Once that's done, once you've got all your groups done, hit your back button, which is the little infinity logo up in the top left. Go back to Cephi, go into multicast. Now here in multicast, this screen, you'll see that there's three boxes that weren't here before. The first one shows a group of people with a little line through it. The next one is a group of three people with down arrows. And the next one is an ad. So let's say I'm going to do a broadcast, but I'm not going to necessarily need a group because I'm not going to redo them again. I can just go here and hit that and add somebody to, to my uh, group or in to do just a single person. But if I'm going to add a group, so family makes sense, right? We all have families. And the beauty of this is it can be a person, it could be your spouse, it could be your children, it could be your siblings. It could be your pets, it doesn't matter. It even could be a space or an object. So when you make your group, it doesn't matter what you put in there. You can have up to 16 of those. But for this exercise, I'm going to show you how to add that group. So I'm going to press the middle button and it gives me the list of the the lists of those groups. And so I'm going to do family, click on family, and it immediately loads that in for me. This makes it so much easier and so much faster to be able to, to get in and do your broadcast to everybody because your list is there. And this is someone that you're going to, this group is one that I'm going to send something to maybe multiple times a day, at least every day. And so I have, instead of having to go in and put every single one of those back in, you've got it already preset for you. You've got that template done. Now I'm going to want to change things. And the beauty of it is every single person's going to have their own unique playlist or affirmations or uh, if nothing else, their emotion frequencies that you can go in and change. All right, so on like a family group, that template, I'm going to use all the time. It's going to stay there all the time. That group's always going to be there. The, but the content for each person may change from time to time. But let's say that it's uh, one of the other groups. So I'm going to go out of that group. And if you'll notice down at the bottom of the group, there's that little button on the left that has the group with the line through it. If you push that button, it takes that group out of this screen. It doesn't erase the group, just takes it out of this particular screen. I want to add a new group. Clip on, click on the one in the middle. This time I'm going to do an abundance. Maybe I'm doing a Cephi uh, playlist to a bunch of people on abundance. So I've already, I'm going to load that one in, hit abundance. So in this group, it, lo it preloaded my group for me and I can go in now and put in their information, their affirmation. Maybe it's going to be the same affirmation because this is a group that everybody's getting basically an affirmation on abundance. But what makes it unique and different is every single person's emotions are different. And that's why you have your little flower. We talked about that in one of the previous videos. Imagine yourself as a castle and your emotions are that moat that goes around your castle. It's very hard to get things into the castle because of the moat until the drawbridge comes down. Look at the flower, the emotion as that drawbridge. So we don't know what an individual is going through when we go to broadcast something to them. So by clicking the flower, having them do the scan and it finds that emotion that's their moat around them right now opens up that drawbridge so that when you send the affirmation, it's able to get into the castle. Does that make sense? I hope so. But let's say now I'm all done with this and I'm not going to do another abundance. I can go right down to the bottom where it shows the group and I can erase them and they're gone. And now I can make a new template for somebody else. 
But if I was gonna send the same information or information to the same people on a repeated basis, you want that template. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is up at the top, <clears throat> you have three buttons. The first one talks about the length of time that this affirmation is gonna go. You have 30 seconds, two minutes, and five minutes. And in most cases, 30 seconds is enough. The next button is your play button. If you hit play, it's gonna play every single one of those people in your list, up to 16, all at the same time, simultaneously. But let's say that it's something, uh, maybe it's with your family or a group of people very close to you that are dealing with something pretty traumatic. And maybe you want a little bit different uh, affirmation or information going to each individual person to deal with whatever the crisis or situation that they may be dealing with. The little button with the four arrows, the little recycle button, when you push that, then it goes down one at a time and plays each person for that, whether it was 30 seconds or two minutes or five minutes, it'll play that one 100%, then go to the next, then to the next, and then to the next. So that's the two options. Depending on who you speak to about broadcasting, some are gonna say it should be independent, some are gonna say it can be simultaneous. I believe they're both right. It doesn't make any difference in my book. As long as you're sending the information, it's just like if everybody in the room right now picked up their cell phone and called somebody, that person that they called would get the message and get the phone call, nobody else would. It's the same here. You can send them simultaneously or together. The beauty of it is you're able to send it Send it easily, send it often. I just wanted to talk a little bit, just a few minutes about our AO Tune module. You might be asking, what is AO Tunes? Well, it's actually one of the modules that we have in our AO Scan technology that you maybe haven't seen yet. And it is about tuning forks. And tuning forks are pretty exciting. A lot of people use tuning forks for lots of different things. I use them in my clinic how convenient it is now that I can actually run a scan to find out what tuning fork might be beneficial for someone. And then I can press a button and have that frequency delivered right now. We've got the little transducers that we can actually put on the body in different places. People are already asking questions like, how do I know where to put them? Well, it doesn't really matter. Listen to your body. If something comes up for you, like for me, liver came up one day and I thought, okay, well, I can put it in the general direction of my liver and I can customize those frequencies right into my liver to bring that memory back to my liver. The, the frequency that my liver should maintain at a normal, healthy state. That's all that tuning fork is delivering, is that frequency to help it remember the normal healthy state that it's supposed to vibrate at. So experiment, listen to your body. You don't have to do it exact. I mean, there's a lot of different theories and methods. Actually, you can take all kinds of courses and learn contradictory information. Listen to your own body. Where does it resonate? If you do something and it doesn't really feel right, move it around again. Do um, everything that you can, just adjusting um, until it feels like your body's resonating with it. So listen to your body. Oh, another question that I get, well, how long do I do it? Well, if you notice, if you bang a tuning fork, it's going to vibrate for anywhere between 20 to 40 seconds. So that's probably all that you need, but you have the options. You can set it for, I think, 20 seconds, two minutes, five minutes in your scanner. If it starts feeling disresonant or you just don't feel like your body's accepting it, maybe you've done it too long and it's time to quit. You've given your body exactly what it needs and now it's gonna take off with that information. So you can't hurt yourself with it, but if it starts feeling like you've had enough, then stop using it. So if you've done a 20 second vibration and you feel like you want more, go ahead and do more. There's no harm in it. It isn't going to hurt anything. So we use frequencies in our AOScan technology. We already have tons of programs. Why would we need tuning forks? Well, tuning forks are frequencies as well, but they're actually like a pulsed vibration or frequency. You can feel them. So the, like the weighted tuning forks that I use in my clinic, you bang it and you place it on a body and you can feel that vibration. So we're playing the frequency but we're also feeling it. And it actually amplifies the work that I do in my clinic 
Um, and people use tuning forks for a lot of different ways and reasons, but you can actually feel it. So with our transducers, you put them on the body, you can actually feel that vibration in your body. And it's, it's just really, really cool. So for those of you that are already using tuning forks, I'm sure that you are gonna be really excited about this because I don't know about you, but tuning forks are really expensive and there's a lot of them. So I usually only use them if someone has booked an appointment specifically for that. But when I'm out in the world or at a family gathering or with friends, I don't have all of them with me. Now I can simply run a scan on somebody and find out which fork would be beneficial for them. And I can actually deliver it to them right there on the spot. So that's very convenient. For those of you that don't know anything about tuning forks, do some Googling, watch some YouTube videos. We're gonna continue to talk about this more and more. Talk to people who do use them, ask them why they use them and what benefits they've seen. There's a lot to learn. Start doing some of your own research. I'm sure you're gonna have a good time with it. Multicast, another great launch. It was amazing. Yeah, people, people are loving it. They love it. I mean, yeah. the ability to reach multiple people at the same time, phenomenal. So we wanna ask you, how do you plan on using multicast? We hope to get a few ideas shared in this group. Comment on this call after the live chat. What's the, what's the way that you're gonna use multicast or what are some of the ways that you're gonna use multicast? What should we give away? That's a great question. I think we should give away the new Onyx bracelet. Oh yeah, that, that black. That, that, went crazy. Yeah, matte black yes. all around, magnetic yeah. beads, Cybin beads, everything in it. Everybody's wanted it from the day, the first day we launched beaded bracelets. They yeah. wanted this all black one. So let's do that. Comment on the call. How are you gonna use multicast? And the Black Onyx bracelets might be yours to three people next week. See ya. Hello, so like. <laughs> yeah, right? And I forgot what I was supposed to say. <laughs> okay.